Hi, I'm Alex Grokov, uh, co-owner of Warren IT, and uh, I'm going to tell you how to create a dating app. So we had a customer, a really successful uh, serial entrepreneur, and he was uh, looking for a next uh, niche uh, for his uh, potential startup. And we did some research and decided to stop on a, a, a dating. Because dating, the, it, uh, it has always been and will always be. Uh, there are still many people who are really lonely uh, and uh, really difficult to find a partner nowadays when such technologies as Uber and others uh, evolve and uh, we are living in our caves and we don't uh, speak to real people tet -tet -tet. <coughs> So it's really you know, tough now to find a partner. Uh, and uh, we decided that uh, dating is a really good niche. So uh, we started uh, with uh, analysis of our competitors. So you uh, should always look at competitors and uh, uh, if there are a lot of competitors in your niche, uh, it means that there is a market. If there is no competition, it can also be an opportunity, but if there are many competitors, it's a, a good sign of that there is a market and there is a demand. So, uh, uh, analyzing these competitors, we uh, build a feature list. A feature list of our uh, next project, and uh, one of those features was uh, building a website. So uh, this was the first mistake we made. So don't don't uh, uh, build a website. So we just uh, wasted the, that amount of uh, money and time building a website. So it was actually not necessary. And uh, after uh, after you know, maybe half a year, we decided to stop building the website. So we focused building on or um, a dating app. Uh, so uh, after after uh, we got all the features of our next dated app, so uh, we uh, we've chosen a short list, short short list for our MVP. MVP is basically minimal viable product, uh, which is uh, quite necessary to be, to have or nice to have uh, to test uh, the audience and test how market. Uh, Rags to to your app. After you know which features will be in MVP, so you can build a prototype. A clickable prototype is really useful when you uh, want to have a look at the dating app, which is not yet exist or just any other app. So uh, there was a phase of UX wireframes. UX or user experience is really crucial for the future success of your project. If your app is not uh, easy to use, uh, it takes too much time to get to a particular screen, too many clicks, or uh, something is slow and nasty, so uh, people will want to use your um, application, particularly it's important when you build a dating application. So um, uh, it took around two months. Two months of hard work of UX uh, specialists, uh, and uh, after that we started with a design. Design. So uh, there was also uh, several iterations uh, between uh, design screens and uh, which was the best, which, which was the best one. So it was a lot of uh, collaboration with UX team, design team, uh, founders. So. It was really a hard time. So, and after that, there was a phase of development of uh, uh, our mobile application. Uh, so, uh, second uh, second point is never develop two applications at the same time. So, it was our, also our mistake. So, we started building a backend, backend iOS and an Android. So what it means, backend, basically where all your mm, business logic is, where uh, data is stored and stuff like that, and uh, uh, you have uh, mobile applications uh, for iOS and Android. We also wanted to uh, get uh, as much users as we can, so we started do, uh, creating all these uh, 
applications for two platforms at the same time. And uh, what, what we get, uh, uh, we actually didn't know uh, uh, what next, what will we have next, which features will be more popular, less popular. So uh, we just uh, started to waste a lot of uh, time and money on uh, supporting two platforms. Instead of uh, uh, create a brilliant uh, app for iOS, uh, the app which uh, earns money and uh, we really can be sure what's uh, necessary for your audience. And after, after, after uh, you find out what is exactly needed, what is useful, uh, what people need, only after that you should build an Android version. Because uh, otherwise uh, you get a new feature for a backend, you have to make uh, one change here, second change here, third change here, you have to test all this stuff and it takes so much time and energy and efforts and so many bugs so it's actually distracting your team so uh you'd better don't do like uh, we did in the beginning so build good backend one platform and uh, monetize it and if you're successful with it start uh, focusing on the second platform <coughs> so that's it um after the development was done so we came uh, to Apple Store and we were ready to publish our app. So we were ready to publish our dating, dating app uh, and uh, 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 third life hack I can share with you is uh, uh, you should really focus on uh, the quality of uh, uh, dating app icon. So icons are really, really important because we 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 already were experienced with uh, building mobile application because we are already 13 years in uh, that business uh, and uh, we advised our customer to uh, have several icons and uh, uh, we created several icons for uh, app and we tested which one which icon was the best uh, in terms of conversion so and uh, uh, i can show you with you a good service for testing it's called split metrics. Probably .com. I'm not. I'm not uh, sure. But split metrics. Uh, it's a, a web service which allows you to test uh, which uh, uh, landing page is better for a mobile application. Which landing page converts the best, and uh, <coughs> that also helped us to raise the quantity of conversions. Uh, of viewing per installing the, uh, uh, of our application. If you're developing a mobile app, just uh, choose the best icons you can have. This is really, really important. And a quality icon is uh, um, very important for application. It's a distinct, distinguishing factor of your app. <coughs> so, uh, probably I'll clear it, clear it away. So, uh, uh, what what do we have after uh, after publishing an app? We have users uh, downloading, installing it, and trying to use. And the, the, uh, this is a phase where you should analyze what's going on inside your application. You should uh, install uh, analytic uh, analytic tools to find out what's going on. And uh, one of the problems we had is that people downloaded, tried to use, but uh, uh, there was a big churn rate and uh, uh, people didn't want to pay. The problem was uh, with uh, the positioning of our app. It was positioned like uh, uh, scientific dating, where you had to pass a, a, a very complicated uh, survey in the beginning. Uh, like in Pinterest, if they had to choose which uh, interest they have. And after that, there was a uh, scientific match, like special algorithm. And it didn't work because it was uh, too exhausting for our audience and they didn't want to uh, get into that. So uh, it was uh, uh, cancelled and we decided uh, to choose a, a, another way of positioning our app, how our dating, dating application is uh, better than uh, um, our competitors. So we uh, were always looking for something new, new, new. And uh, after uh, maybe several several tries we found uh, found out a niche uh, with 45 plus audience so uh, and it was really successful 
and uh, uh, one part of this success was uh, photos. Actually, uh, the quality of photos in a dating application is huge importance, really, really huge. You, uh, we didn't think about it in the beginning, but uh, the photos should be of premium quality, like in Airbnb. Uh, uh, if you look at the Airbnb, the quality of pictures, images of uh, flats are, are excellent. So there should be the same kind of uh, quality in your dating applications. If, if in your dating applications the photos are not are not good, so people won't pay. Because, uh, well, I think it's quite understandable for now, but in the beginning it was not not like that. So uh, photos, photos are, should be excellent and uh, we use several services to uh, moderate the photos and uh, be sure that the photos are really great so and uh, uh, finding out the right audience uh, um, made it possible to uh, get a good monetization for uh, uh, for the dating app the last thing I want to share you with you is uh, ASO it's so, uh, Apple Store optimization. Uh, you should, uh, if you don't know what it is, you should definitely read uh, read about that. So it's basically about the keywords which describe your application in uh, Apple Store or Google Play. Uh, when we first published our dating app, uh, uh, the keywords we thought uh, uh, were great were not actually great. So it didn't, they didn't bring enough traffic to um, our application. So after several months of experiments uh, and research, so we found out the uh, best keywords we could find actually. And uh, uh, that helped to raise it and uh, downloads dramatically just uh, using the App Store itself. Uh, because uh, millions of people come to um, App Store daily and search for new apps and uh, uh, if you are in right, uh, if you specify the right keywords, you can uh, get the traffic from the Apple Store itself, and you don't have to uh, waste a lot of uh, money on marketing. So it's really, really important, uh, and you should have a guy on your team who is experienced with that. Uh, so, uh, uh, guys, uh, today I've shared with you a lot of information, and uh, I hope that uh, knowledge. Uh, will help you build uh, your next successful dating app. So that was Alex Grakov of Varen IT. Uh, hope to see you uh, again in our blog. Um, goodbye.